New York City is seeing a dangerous surge of young people trying to ride trains, and officials say social media is partly to blame for the wave of subway surfing. According to MTA statistics, the number of incidents involving so-called subway surfers increased by 560 percent from January to May this year compared to the same period in 2021. Speaking to MTA board members Monday, NYPD Transit Chief Jason Wilcox somewhat attributed the dramatic uptick in reckless behavior to social media. We have recently seen incidents of mostly very young people riding on the roof or the back of wagons. It's incredibly dangerous, Wilcox said. They're nothing fun or funny about this type of activity and we will continue to work to prevent it. MTA metrics collectors recorded 449 subway surfing incidents between January and May of this year. There were 68 incidents in the same period last year and 97 in 2020, officials said. The reckless behavior reached a turning point in recent weeks, after a 15-year-old surfer was left in critical condition after he smashed his head while boarding a northbound now 7 train at the 111th Street station in Queens continued June 23. The boy's distraught aunt told the post her nephew only does what kids do. The teenager was taken to Elmhurst Hospital and underwent two surgeries on Friday for his injuries according to his aunt. He's not the first young person to do this in our system. In fact, we've had hundreds of incidents in the last few months where this has occurred, NYC Transit President Richard Davey said during Monday's committee meeting. I would urge anyone who is watching this to tell their friends and their children, don't do this, he continued. Please, 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 do something else with your time. Not only are you going to hurt yourself like that poor young man did, you're delaying trains and putting yourself in danger. In another incident in late May, a 12-year-old was injured while riding a number 5 train in the Bronx, Wilcox said. A video posted to Twitter earlier this month showed a group of about eight people walking on the carriages of a Brooklyn-bound J train as it crossed the Williamsburg Bridge. The 449 surfing incidents recorded so far this year are nearly as many as all of 2019, according to non-profit news agency The City, which first reported the surge. In all, Two people have died and four were injured while riding outside of trains, the MTA said. A victim in 2020 had to have his foot amputated.